This is a uh, electrical troubleshoot issue with a uh, heat pump. It's a water source heat pump. And I kind of wanted to show you what I found. I don't think I could have come up with this kind of problem if I'd have tried. But I did find this problem while I was working on this piece of equipment because I couldn't get my contactor to energize. Now I'm going to start this unit up and you'll see what happens when we start it up. Okay, you can hear the, the fan motor come on, but the contactor doesn't come on. Now, I don't have a thermostat on this thing, so I've simply jumpered from R to Y. So let's see. Let's go down here a little bit so you can see. On the contactor, okay, note I have a uh, probe mounted onto the common side of the coil of the contactor. Okay, so one side of my line's done. I know my fan's running, so G must be energized. And if all my switches are closed, there's high pressure switch, low pressure switch, low temperature switch, those things, if those are all closed. Okay, let's find out if we actually do have power to Y right there. Okay, I put my probe there. Notice my meter is showing 25 volts, so I've got continuity there. The next one I'm going to check is I usually, when I do these things, I like to jump from where it's coming from to where it's going. And my thought will be when I go to the contactor, let's get the contactor so you can see it. Okay, here is my wire. I've got the common going this side and I've got my wire going here. Will I read 25 volts there? Okay. Okay, I'm reading 25 volts there. Now the contactor is not energizing. It's not pulling in. Now if I manually push it in, okay, Compressor runs. What the heck is going on here? Do I have a failed coil uh, on the contactor? I'm going to ohm out the coil of the contactor and we'll see what we read there. Okay, I pulled the wire off here of the coil of the contactor because I'm going to use the ohmmeter. I've killed the power. So now I'm going to check whether there is continuity through the coil. Now I still got my probe here on one side and I you see I removed this wire because I don't want anything else feeding back and giving me false readings. You don't have to take off both sides of the of what you're checking, but you've got to take off one side. Okay, now I'm going to put my probe here and I'm reading 236 ohms. Hmm. That seems high, but I'm reading continuity. So the coil has continuity. Why doesn't it work? Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think I've given you everything you need on this. This one is a bit of an oddball when you want to tell you what it is. So uh, let's say it has to do with improper replacement of parts. You tell me what the problem is.